Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to Sagittarius season. I actually got really inspired by another YouTuber here, Rosita Applebaum, and I will link her channel down below and the video that inspired me to do this. Uh, she basically did an entire Zodiac series where every, every season there was a new sign, she would make a look inspired by that sign. So kind of taking that that idea of a look inspired by a sign, I'm going to be using the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights Zodiac palette for all the looks that I will be doing for each sign. So since we are in Sagittarius season, I will be starting with Sagittarius, and then as the seasons progress, I will do one for each sign. This palette will be the star of the show as well as the shades and the corresponding sign. And within the video I will be giving little fun facts about each sign as well and my personal experiences with the signs. I love the topic of zodiacs and astrology and I'm the type of person to always ask what's your sign. So as I said before, this look is very Sagittarius inspired. Sagittarians are a very fun, fiery sign and they're the adventurous ones of the zodiac. If you guys want to learn how to get this look right here and learn some fun facts about Sagittarius, then keep on watching. So I went ahead and primed my eyelid with my regular Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm going to go in with this fluffy brush from the Morphe Grand Master set. And I'm going to dip into this shade right here called the Libra in the Zodiac palette. And I'm just going to start blending this into the crease. The one thing you should definitely know about Sagittarius's is that they are very, they're a very blunt sign. A lot of people might misconstrue that and think that they're rude or that they're just, you know, assholes. But honestly, they're just saying what they truly feel and they're just saying what well, pretty much everyone else is thinking and are too afraid to say, which I really admire about Sagittarius's, honestly. Um, they're, they're very blunt, they're very honest. It's always a good friend to have to. They will never sugarcoat things for you. Sagittarius is a fire sign and they're ruled by the planet Jupiter. The Sagittarius season starts on November 22nd and ends on December 21st. So we are currently in Sagittarius season and it is in full force. I have actually quite a few Sagittarians as friends um, and I love them. They're very honest with me. They're they're super they're super carefree. Another thing about Sagittarians is that you will never see one be clingy. They they don't really like clinginess in a partner or be clingy themselves. Now, if you think if you're a Sagittarius and you're looking at this and you're like, um, but I'm kind of clingy. Well, you should also look in your, into your moon and rising sign because sometimes if you're a more emotional and attached person, it could be because your moon or your rising or even your Venus is in another sign. But Sagittarians themselves do not, do not really tolerate, they don't really tolerate um, clinginess in a partner. So we're gonna take this all over here. This is gonna be our transition color. I'm gonna take this slightly smaller fluffy brush and I'm gonna dip into the star of the show here, the Sagittarius. We're gonna take this right below Libra and we're going to just place this all over the lid. We're, we're not being really precise with this one. We want it, we want it all over. We really want Sagittarius to to be loud and proud here. Sagittarians are also one of the happier signs, actually. They, they're always so carefree, just because they don't really have anything to hide. They're always very honest and, and upfront about everything that they're feeling. 
and if a Sagittarius doesn't like you, you will know. They're also, in my experience and in, in all the Sagittarians I've met, they're also super open-minded and very passionate about issues, um, whether it's regarding human rights or like animal rights, all that kind of stuff. They're their lover of animals and they will definitely stand up for the little guy, which I really admire about about them. So we're just taking this all the way in, making sure it's all the way on the lid as well. Sagittarians are also the travelers of the zodiac. A Sagittarius will always be down to travel with you. You will never hear a no from, from them when it comes down to traveling. One of the things I really love about Sagittarius as well is that they have such a great sense of humor. I, literally every single Sagittarius I've met ha is funny. Sagittarians hate feeling confined in any way, shape, or form. They definitely need their freedom. And that's like in all places, in all aspects of their life. They won't be happy in a job where they don't have, they don't have some kind of freedom, whether it be a flexible schedule or if someone is on top of them all the time and don't, and doesn't, um, let them grow at all, that those are things that definitely would upset a Sagittarius. They are super free. They, they never want to feel constrained. And that's in the workplace and even in relationships. You will not, if you are clingy at all, you will never be able to keep a Sagittarius. All right, I'm going to take the brush from before and I'm going to dip it back into that Libra shade and just blend out any harsh lines here. Now this look is super simple but also very adventurous and I feel that that is in a Sagittarius in itself. They're simple people. They, they know what they like, they know what they dislike, but they also love adventure. I went back with the Sagittarian color on that smaller fluffy brush and just going in again just making sure I don't have any patches. Sagittarians are also super optimistic and enthusiastic. They um, are definitely always open to change. They're not like earth signs who are typically more grounded and, and don't like change at all. So with this fluffy paddle brush, I'm going to dip in to this color right here, the Virgo. And we're gonna work that into the outer corner, just to deepen it up a bit. I'm gonna go back into the Sagittarius shade and just blend that out, making sure there aren't any harsh lines between the Virgo and Sagittarius. Now the signs that Sagittarius is most compatible with is Gemini and Aries. And they all kind of balance each other out. As I said before too, Sagittarians are also super open-minded so that's why a lot of them like to travel as well because they love exploring new cultures, learning about new people. They're the type to befriend everyone because they they want to learn so much about you and who you are. Um, they also love to read a lot. They're in the know about a lot of current issues as well. Next, I'm taking this flat shader brush and I'm dipping into this shade right here called the Scorpio. And this I'm just going to place on the lid, but on just kind of like the first third of the eye, just to kind of get that sheen going. Next, I'm taking this Supernova Shadow in the shade Constellation from the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights Zodiac Collection. 
and I'm going to be taking it on a brow brush like this and just dipping into the shade. And I'm just gonna go from the inner corner out into like the outer half of the crease. So I'm gonna take a, just a makeup wipe and I'm just gonna wipe off all the fallout and I'm just also sharpen up this wing sharpen up this little edge right here so for the face I'm going to start priming with my J1 jelly pack next I'm taking my L'Oreal Pro Glow foundation and my IT Cosmetics number 101 airbrush foundation brush and start blending this into my face there's honestly quite a few famous Sagittarians and they include Nicki Minaj, Taylor Swift, Miley Cyrus, Jay-Z, Vanessa Hudgens, Chrissy Teigen, Britney Spears. Britney Spears is Sagittarius, right? Honestly, Britney Spears is a total Sagittarius. I'm actually really loving this It Cosmetics brush. It's really blending in my foundation really nicely. Next I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Just concealing those under eyes. Act like I've slept. With a powder brush I'm just going to go and set my under eyes with this light cocoa shade in my Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. Next with this Morphe M3 brush from the Britney Bear collaboration and this LA Girl concealer in the color Toast, I'm going to contour my nose. Alright, so first I'm going to go into that Libra shade on this kind of small fluffy brush here. I'm going to dip into that Libra shade and just run it down my lash line here, kind of blow it out. All right, so next with a kind of little condensed dome brush here, I'm gonna dip into the Sagittarius shade, run that underneath my lash line. With the same brush, I'm going to go and dip into that Virgo shade. And I'm going to put this as close to the lash line as possible. Next, I'm going to pop on some mascara. And I'm just going to go in with my Tardist mascara. Now, you can totally leave this look with just mascara and without falsies, but knowing who I am as a person, I am definitely going in with falsies. And the falsies I'm taking are the Iconic Lashes from House of Lashes. Also, hot tip for you guys, my hack for falsies is I use the regular just duo lash glue, the one with the little brush, and I just apply the brush throughout the whole lash making sure to apply, apply a little extra on the ends and in the middle so that those lashes don't budge. And then what I do is I keep a, I keep a mirror directly below me. So like this little, this little mirror here directly below me. And then I just apply the lash like so. and get it as close to your lash line as possible. 
just kind of looking down. Then you just press, press. Then you just press your natural lash and the falsies together, and boom, you got yourself a perfectly applied falsy. So basically, what you're doing is you're just kind of placing this directly underneath you, like right underneath your eye and you're looking down at it so that way you get a better visual of where your lash line is. Now to complete the rest of the face, I'm going to go in and contour my face again with my LA Girl Concealer and Toast. And I'm just going to go in with my foundation brush and blend that all out. Now to bronze up my face, I'm just going to go and take my Coco Contour Palette and I'm going to take this little contour brush from the Morphe brush set and I'm going to dip into medium cocoa and dark cocoa. Baby. Next up for blush, I'm going to take this Makeup Revolution blush palette and my blush brush and I'm going to dip into this kind of purple shade right here. For highlight, I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero highlight kit and I'm taking my Morphe Y14 brush and I'm going to dip in, also I, I'm so sad that I don't make this anymore, um, but I have definitely used mine. I'm going to dip into the shades Kitty Cat and Forever Young. For my inner corner highlight, I'm just going to go into this Forever Young shade and pop that right there. Now for lips, I'm going to go in with this cami shade from ColourPop. It's a matte X formula. I'm just going to go in. So that completes this look guys. I really hope you liked it. This is a very fun, very adventurous sort of look, much like the Sagittarius themselves. And yeah, I feel like everyone can rock this, especially a Sagittarius. I really hope I did you guys justice. I feel like everyone in their life needs a Sagittarius. They're very blunt. They're very honest. They're, they're the life of the party, basically. They're very charming, very funny. They're adventurous. They're definitely the type of person that you would want as a travel buddy because they're, they're always down and they're all about exploring and learning about new cultures and people. They're very open-minded and they're very, they're very passionate about making sure that others are treated fairly. And Sagittarius will be the first one to defend you if they see that someone is, wrong, is doing you wrong and they'll be the first ones to stand up for themselves as well. So that completes this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you're looking forward to the rest of the zodiac as we progress throughout the year. Let me know what your sign is too. I really wanna know. And leave me some facts about your sign, some stereotypes, some misconceptions that people have. I know for myself, I'm an Aquarius and we're always depicted as the standoffish weirdos, which I mean, we can be weirdos, but I don't consider myself standoffish all the time. So let me know about some misconceptions that people have about your signs and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Next I'm going in with me, with me, with me Tarte Shave Tape Concealer Arc. Where's my powder?